Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Byron King. How are you? I'm doing great. It's so nice to see you here at PDAC, Tracy. An uh, old-time friend, of course, of Investor Intel. I'm going to just hit you with the question. Coronavirus, what's it doing to our markets? Uh, give me some feedback, please. Well, on a scale of 1 to 10, you know, you should be about a 2 or 2 and a half worried about getting sick. But at the same time, it's March and it's the end of the flu season. And I, I really do think that this bug is going to just sort of burn itself out over the next few weeks and, and go away. Uh, I think, though, that you have a much higher chance of getting sick from the uh, uh, hit to the global economy, the hit to the stock market, and the, the dislocations that we're going to see coming out of it. it uh, uh, China basically shut itself down in terms of its economy. I mean, people say, well, there was the, the two-week Lunar New Year holiday and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, the factories aren't coming back. And uh, from, the, from the purchasing manager indexes that you see, coming out of China, uh, the things that people have to buy to make the factories work to get back up to speed, that's not happening. And so we're looking for a long period of uh, readjustment. Uh, I don't think that some things are ever going to go back uh, to normal. Uh, we were talking before we came on air, for example, that if you look at the airline flights in and out of China, uh, seven or eight weeks ago on, a, on any given day, there were about 3,500 international flights into China, uh, between about 850 city pairs. Today, as we speak, there are around uh, 700 international flights in and out of China, between about 200 city pairs. So we're looking at 80 to 90 percent reductions in the number of flights. Most of the international flights in and out of China are cargo flights. They're not people flights. And the people flights have lots of empty seats. So, so just that aspect alone of business in China has completely cratered. You're not going to just bring it back by snapping your fingers and saying, oh, it's over. We can all get back to normal business. No, it doesn't work that way. When you collapse a complex system, you don't just pump it back up, uh, you know, with, with some Fed money or some, you know, interest rate cuts or something like that. It doesn't work that way. Uh, so point, the point of the question, uh, don't worry that much about getting sick. I mean, obviously, wash your hands and do all those other good things. But uh, uh, it's, it's much more important to uh, uh, get some cash, you know, be, beware of just diving into the markets uh, when you think you see a bargain, because if it's a bargain now, it might be a bigger bargain a couple weeks from now. Well, PDAC, I've been telling everyone it's like the, the canary in the coal mine for the market. So everyone should be here. So I'm going to go through a list, if you don't mind, of metals. I'd like you to kind of give me either a thumbs up or a thumbs down on what you think you're hearing here at PDAC. And let's start with gold. Uh, gold is in great shape. Uh, there was a sell down recently in gold. Uh, I really thought, I thought when it happened, and I, uh, looking back on it uh, in a retrospective way, uh, it was it was margin calls, people selling, not really gold. They weren't selling physical gold. Nobody took a bar of gold and gave it to somebody and said, "Here, cover my margin call. Here's a bar of gold." It, they were selling paper gold, and it and it that highlights really the disconnect between the paper market and the physical market. Uh, gold is making a comeback. Uh, I think that uh, in a world filled with literally you know dozens of trillions of dollars worth of debt, hundreds of trillions of dollars worth of debt, when you add it all up. How does that debt get serviced? It only gets serviced with cash flow, and a lot of cash flow is tightened up. It's really just, you know, choking right now. Uh, so, so, I think it's bad for currencies. It's bad for the dollar, bad for the euro, bad for the yen, bad for the Chinese yuan. It's bad for, it's bad for you know all the major currencies, uh, which means that it's good for gold. And looking ahead, I think you, you're, you'll be a lot further ahead if you own real gold than if you own you know fake dollars. All right, so I need fast answers. So thumbs up or thumbs down on the following. Uranium. Oh, sorry. Okay. How about the magnetic materials, the rare earths? Oh, I love them. Two thumbs up, mags. Uh, I know you want to comment. Uh, okay, go ahead, comment. Uh, rare, rare earths uh, come from, 85% come from China. And what's going on in China right now? The place is shut down. Uh, will, that, will that affect the, the metal producers, the magnetic metal producers in China? Well, we have yet to know the exact scope, but the answer is yes. 
because you know it, it I mean even if they just hauled people out of their houses at the point of a gun and a bayonet and said get down there and go to work they'd go to work and you know maybe the chemicals they need aren't there maybe the packaging materials they need aren't there the truck that they need to haul these things away it's not there the container they need to put it in isn't there the ship that's going to haul the container to the other side of the world the ship isn't there uh, mag magnetic materials rare earths are in really good shape well they're not in good shape supply wise they're in good shape price wise and it's going to reflect well on uh, uh, potential uh, 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 you know, exploration, development, production plays outside of China. Well, Byron, we're going to have to do an interview here with Jack Lifton and you on Rare Earths. Thank you so much for joining us today, but one more, copper. The billionaires are saying buy copper. I'm a copper guy. Uh, I, I think that what is built into the, to the supply demand situation right now, aside from the virus and all those issues, uh, I, I just think there's there's not enough out there for the demand that's coming down the coming down the line. Thank you so much for joining us. It's great to see you. It is a pleasure to be with you. Thank you.